Hello friends, today we will discuss another very important topic for MSP CH examination that is renal tubular acidosis, Gittleman syndrome and Barter syndrome. Let's start with renal tubular acidosis. It has three variety, type 1, type 2 and type 4. The type 1 which affect the distal convoluted tubule and it has a pathology of secretion, paleopus secret, H plus ion property. As a result of that, it leads to acidosis and this acidosis is associated with hypokalemia, hypercalciuria and nephrocalcinosis. How it presents? It presents with growth failure, dehydration as well as polyuria. What is the management? Management is potassium supplements as well as bicarbonate therapy. Next variety of renal tubular acidosis is type 2. There is a pathology of reabsorption of bicarbonate. For that reason, there is increased secretion of bicarbonate. As a result of that, there is acidosis. And it is associated with Fanconi syndrome. How it present? It presents like road failure and wickets. What is the management? Management is same as type 1. High dose of bicarbonate supplements and potassium supplements. Next variety of renal tubular acidosis is type 4. It is associated with hyperkalemia and it is due to androsterone resistance or deficiency. It presented with metabolic acidosis and hyperkalemia. How, what are the symptoms? The symptoms are failure to thrive and hyperkalemia. Treatment is fluidocortisone and potassium restriction. Let's discuss another important topic that is the Barter syndrome. In Barter syndrome, the pathology lies in thick part of ascending loop of Henle and it associated with hypokalemia, hypercalciuria and metabolic alkalosis. They, present with, they presented with uh, polydipsia, polyuria and muscle weakness. Treatment, potassium, magnesium supplements and insects. Now we will discuss Gittleman syndrome. It is a defect of distal convoluted tubule like thiazide defect and it is associated with hypocalcemia, hypomagnesemia and hypocalciuria. Symptoms are muscle scram, fatigue, salt craving. What are the treatment available? Potassium and magnesium supplements. Let's discuss the Barter versus Gittleman syndrome. Barter syndrome mainly affects the loop of Henle and it associated with hypercalciuria and it presents earlier. Whereas in Gittleman syndrome, it affects the distal convoluted tubule and it associated with hypocalciuria and it presents later. Barter is much more severe in variety. Gittleman is much more gentle, so that is much more milder. And you can remember B stands for before. So you remember that the barter presents earlier or before. Let's summarize everything. Renal tubular acidosis is a failure to acidify the urine. As a result of that, metabolic acidosis happen. Barter syndrome is like loop diuretic effect associated with hypokalemia, hypercalciuria. As well as in Gittleman syndrome, there is a thiazide type of uh, effect and it is associated with hypokalemia, hypocalciuria. I hope you are enjoying my video. Please like, share and subscribe my channel and see you in next video. Ciao.